Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to talk to you guys today about how these brand new What If cards work inside of FIFA 21. We have the brand new What If promo dropped, dropping today. It dropped today on FIFA. And I want to just talk about how these cards work, why they're some of the quickest, or in my opinion, they might be some of the quickest upgrading live cards we have ever seen and some of the crazy market movements that we saw today as well. Made a ton of coins on the live stream today. Of course, that link is down in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. But we got a lot of content today. We got new icon moments. Another set of 34 of them were released. These what if cards and SBC and an objective, kind of what we talked about in yesterday's video is what we expected. And that did come true. And of course, with all the saved up packs, these cards started low and have exploded since. But of course, let's cut to the chase. These what if cards and how EA words it is with the football calendar reaching a fever pitch, the wave of current and soon to be leaders are rising to the occasion. Uh, this provides new opportunities for players to elevate their games with boosted special items with what if scenarios for potential ratings boosts. So there is kind of a mix of like transferred cards in here, of course, with Odegaard and with Gomez. And then, of course, you just have some, you know, just random seeming guys thrown in, right? You just threw in a, bit, a random bunch of players. And again, this is team one. So this makes us think two week promo for the what if promotion in FIFA. But this is how it works. These guys get a one time additional plus two overall upgrade based off of their what if scenarios in real life football? And these are the two scenarios. Attackers and midfielders upgrade if each player's club scores at least six goals in their next five domestic league matches. So, for example, Arsenal, right? The next five Premier League matches that Arsenal will play in, if they score six goals, this Odegaard will go to a 90 rated card, right? And then for the defenders, defenders and goalkeepers upgrade if the player's club keeps at least one clean sheet over their next five domestic league games. So for all of these cards, we have a five league game timeline. So all of these upgrades will either happen or they won't happen in the next five league games, right? So it's kind of short turnaround. I mean, that's of course gonna take like a month or so for a lot of these teams to get their five games in. Um, but it, that seems pretty easy, right? A clean sheet for some of these teams. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that every card is going to get upgraded, but it seems that most cards should get upgraded. And I honestly think, and we were kind of talking about this live on stream, we were thinking it might be easier to keep that clean sheet in five games than it would be to score the six goals. But both seem pretty easy if you kind of boil it down, even for some of these teams, um, you know, that maybe aren't the best or sitting like really high in the table you still think, yeah, they should be able to keep a clean sheet or yeah, they should be able to score one goal per game and then score two goals in one game. You think that would be pretty possible. So we already have some live games going on. We'll talk about that. But these upgrades start tracking literally today. They start from the date and time they are first released into FIFA Ultimate Team. So as they said here, if the team plays on the same day, it will only count towards it if it's a domestic league match. And then they release this little table here, release dates for player items, can be found here and they, they just made this table right here uh, i'm not entirely sure why we needed this but i guess uh that way they can show us and prove to us like when the players came out and when they get upgraded so again some of what matches are available or count for this only the eligible matches are the league matches um so only those matches the ones that were required for the upgrade and then this is the most interesting thing too just like headliners after a what if player fulfills their requirement, the earliest corresponding player item will be upgraded is on the following Wednesday. So on the team week drop day, that's when we'll see our first upgrade for these cards. That's when they will get upgraded on Wednesdays. Um, and team of the week, man of the match, no other individual performance items will boost these other cards. And then of course, if the player is no longer on the roster of that club, um, they will be no longer eligible for upgrade. So kind of like Quincy Promes wrote to the final situation right there. Now, of course, some of the guys that actually got into the team today actually had games. We had three players live in action today on Friday. We had Lace Melu from Nice. We had Jovic from Frankfurt and Yuri Berchiche from Bilbao, which those games are actually going on right now. Bilbao did not keep a clean sheet. So this Berchiche guy went up to like 190K pregame and he's now being sold off a little bit. We've got Frankfurt has scored one goal and Nice have scored one goal as well. So 
Um, obviously, with the midfielders and attackers, with Lace, Milou, and... Um, and Jovic, they've already got one goal on their tally for that potential upgrade. But of course, this game is the first of five games for Bilbao. They did not keep a clean sheet because they gave up a penalty. So, Berchiche is not going to get upgraded just yet. But there's more games coming tomorrow on Saturday, right? And there's just a lot of potential for more goals to be scored and stuff like that happening. It's also been a crazy, crazy day on the market. So, let's talk about that after now we have talked about kind of the live cards and how they get upgraded and stuff like that. But we had an objective today. His name is Caputo from Sassuolo. Um, again, this Sassuolo would need to score six goals in five games. Pretty dope looking card. You know, Serie A striker with some pace going to an 89 rated. This card would look pretty solid in my opinion. And it's not super duper hard to grind. But this difference makers friendly mode is four bronze players and no gold. So it's kind of interesting uh, that game mode to grind this card you're not going to be playing with any gold cards uh, and you have to have some bronzes in your team. Now, we had some code added um, yesterday for a 5 times 85 SBC, but we did not get that today. We got this Rafinha SBC, which is coming in right around 500,000 coins, which seems to be a bit expensive. But if you give this guy a plus two boost, he's going to look really cracked. So I understand why EA priced it pretty high. Do I think it's really worth it? No, but... According to Footbin, actually it's about 427,000 coins. SBC fodder is dropping off a little bit, but I think this card's pretty expensive. I know the links are really, really good. Right mid, uh, Brazilian, there's a lot of good links there, but I do think with the three-star weak foot, four-star skills, um, you know, I think this is a bit overpriced unless you're going to craft it later in the week when they would release upgrade packs. So let's talk about these new cards and what happened on the market today because there was a lot that has happened and a lot that could happen as well. These cards are crazy high right now. All of these cards are basically way higher than what they were during the first set of lightning rounds. Just to show you, you saw there on Footbin that Jaden Sancho was is 1.47 million coins right now on the market. You're going to be if you weren't on the stream or live on the game when you saw these cards drop in packs, I missed a couple Sancho's at the 1.2 mil range. I did not buy them there. I missed some Gomez's at 1.2. He's now 1.5, 1.6 mil right now. So as we were expecting that insane amount of packs that were saved up in the past week with weekend league rewards, marquee matchups, UEFA marquee matchups, all of those saved up packs were open in the first hour or so. And that flooded the market with supply. Guys like Smaldini, right? Mr. Smalling has a pretty insane looking card. This guy was 500K flat. He's now up to 700,000 coins. 700K for the Smaldini card. Conte was 2.3 mil. He's now 3 mil. I bought two Odegaards at 500K. I sold them for about 550. And now he's up to 600K, right? You're like, yo, if you were somebody who bought these cards and we sold a little bit earlier, um, especially for like me, you're like, yo, Nate, you bought those at 500K. He's now a 600K. Why in the world did you sell those at 550? Well, when I sold those at 550, I was going out and looking for other deals because some icons I was wanting to trade with. I bought this at 1.7. I bought this at 1.6 and this at a million coins flat. So I wanted to trade with some other icons. And for me, it was the quick flip that made it worth it. Yes, I could have made about, you know, 90,000 more coins between these two cards, but having those coins available allowed me to make about 200k from these three cards alone. So I think it was a pretty nice trade off. In all honesty, made a lot, a lot of coins today if you bought cards in that first time frame. Now, of course, these cards are probably hitting a peak about right now. Do I think they stay this high? I don't think so. I think these guys start to drop off. They have already added the what if uh, card quantity search filter, which is nice from EA. We appreciate that. But I think what you're going to start to see is people who have tried these cards for a little bit of weekend league. And as, of course, Europe goes to sleep, these guys are going to get supplied. They're going to be dropping and they're going to kind of do the normal Friday night dip into a rebound. So definitely keep an eye out for some of this. But if you want to try to buy any of these cards for a rise Saturday morning, if people want to try them out, make sure the cards that you're looking at have games that are going to be happening today on Saturday. Odegaard right there at 580. That's not really even a snipe because he's selling at 600K and there's not enough profit there because we have 30K of tax. But you're going to start to see these cards kind of dropping on the market a little bit because that supply is going to come in. Arsenal do not play on Saturday. Arsenal play on Sunday. 
against Leicester City, where they will then start their quest for scoring goals to get this Odegaard upgraded. But uh, especially for the defenders that play tomorrow, all it takes is one game, one clean sheet, and you could have yourself an upgrade. So we're specifically watching a guy like Mbabu, who right now I think is about 500K, which I believe is his price cap. His price cap is 500,000 coins. So he is almost extinct. Um, this card with a dynamic image, it looks pretty dope in my opinion. But uh, this is a card that I would 100% watch because they are playing uh, Hertha tomorrow. Wolfsburg have been on a tear in the Bundesliga. And uh, they do not give up many goals. They've only given up 19 goals this entire season. They're sitting on 42 points. 19 goals is the second fewest amount, only behind Leipzig in the Bundesliga this year. So definitely watch a card like Mbabu on the sell-off. There's some other defenders that are in the team that we want to watch as well. Uh, I don't know if Marcelo play tomorrow. Roma play on Sunday, I believe. Yes, Roma play on Sunday. But in France, no. Marcelo is not playing tomorrow. Um, and then Berchiche played today. So for the few number of defenders that could have a quick clean sheet, Mbabu is the only one that plays tomorrow. So you're definitely going to want to keep a watch on that. But what we're starting to learn is for a defender, he's probably going to rise up into the game. But if they get scored on in that game, he's going to get sold a little bit, right? We saw that with Berchiche. He was up to about 175,000 coins and he was getting panic listed right after they got scored on when that penalty was scored. This guy was getting panic listed down to like 150K. Now, of course, he's still getting listed a little bit, and this is just the supply starting to come in. But uh, this card, that's just one thing to note, is when they do get scored on, if it's a defender for one of those four defender cards, it looks like they do kind of drop off as we're learning how these cards work. But I think the concept is pretty cool. I think the stat boost that they put on these cards again today is a pretty solid stat boost. I'm a big fan, right? Now, these cards are very, very high right now. And if you have any of them still and the prices haven't dropped too much, I would look at being mindful of taking the cash, honestly, and, and getting them out because um, I think it's very possible that they drop down later tonight, but then possibly rebound into the morning. One thing we also saw today was another set of icon moments. So we've got guys like Rio, Maradona, Yashin, Ronaldinho as a center attacking mid. That is a GG. Cantona, Mateus, Hullet, all those cards look insanely cracked. They gave Haji five-star skills. Zanetti is a left wing back. And I think that was the biggest news. Van Basten has 96 agility. That was pointed out to me. That's pretty crazy. Um, but uh, like some of the cards got snubbed a little bit, right? Like Schweinsteiger only got like plus one pace over his prime card, which is a bit of an L. But we, again, we have a new set of 34 icon moments. So probably the rest will be coming next week with the uh, team number two of this um, promo, the what if promo right here. But there was a lot, a lot of market movements and you can still be trading with these guys tonight. Now, of course, we're expecting possibly Mark, or sorry, man of the matches, possibly man of the matches tonight uh, on this game. So we'll be watching to see if that happens here in the next couple hours or so. And road to the final upgrades as well. A lot of people have been asking about road to the finals. I actually have a Kessie still on my transfer list. So that is something that we could be seeing tonight that will be coming shortly. And we'll cover that as it happens in another video at the usual upload time later tonight. But I wanted to make this video really fast again, just to kind of talk about how these new what if cards get upgraded to talk about them and the amount of coins we made today. I'm seriously I think we made I'm gonna have to do the math really fast. But I'm thinking with that Lineker flip selling I made about 350,000 coins today or more, uh, depending on what the Kessie sells at. So a big W for a day where I think we just got it all right in terms of what we were expecting with the market. Uh, what I was talking about yesterday, it basically happened. Honestly, right in tune with what we were expecting. So that is always nice. And of course, if you were making some coins today, that is a big G G of course, road to the final stuff coming out later will affect some of that, but it should be a good day overall. So let me know what you guys think about this promo. I think it's pretty cool. I think it could be pretty fast upgrades on some of these cards, because again, all it takes is one clean sheet or a game where you have four goals from one team and then boom, the next game they score two and then bang. There's your upgrade for the attacker. So we'll definitely kind of keep an eye on those cards. And as they get closer to the upgrade, you'll probably see them, especially the attackers will probably increase over time. So we'll probably be looking at these cards as an investment out of packs because they'll get closer and closer and closer to that goal of scoring six goals. So we'll definitely talk about that in the next few days 
as well. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.